Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pharmacist Michael, and today we're diving into a popular herbal supplement that's been making ways in the health and fitness world, Tribulus terrestris. You may have heard that it boosts testosterone, enhances athletic performance, and even improves heart health. But does the science back up these claims, or is this just another overhyped supplement? Stick around as I break down the real benefits, the myths, and the risks of Tribulus terrestris. Let's get into this. Tribulus terrestris is a plant used in traditional medicine for centuries, especially in Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine. It grows in warm climates around the world and is known for its spiky fruit, which has been used for a variety of health conditions. Today, it's marketed for boosting testosterone and libido, enhancing athletic performance, supporting heart health, reducing inflammation, and helping with blood sugar control. But how much of this is actually true? Let's go through each of these claims, one by one, backed by science. First, does tribulus boost testosterone and libido? This is by far the most common reason people take tribulus terrestris. Many bodybuilding supplements include it, claiming it can significantly increase testosterone and improve sexual health. What does the research say? Well, in animal studies, tribulus has been shown to increase testosterone levels. However, in human studies, the results are mixed. Some studies suggest it may increase libido and sexual function in men with low testosterone. But for healthy men, most research shows little to no significant boost in testosterone levels. And a 2014 study found no real improvement in muscle mass or strength in athletes using tribulus. The bottom line, tribulus may help improve libido and sexual function, particularly in men with testosterone imbalances. But if you're expecting a massive testosterone boost for muscle growth, the science doesn't strongly support it. Second, can tribulus improve athletic performance? Well, since tribulus is often included in pre-workout supplements, many assume it helps with endurance, strength, and muscle recovery. What does the science say? A 2007 study on male athletes found that tribulus supplementation did not improve strength or lean body mass. Another study in resistance-trained men showed no difference in performance between those taking tribulus and those on a placebo. So, it's unlikely that tribulus will make you stronger or faster. If you're looking for a true athletic edge, supplements like creatine, beta-alanine, and caffeine have far stronger evidence supporting performance enhancement. Third, does tribulus support heart health? Tribulus has been studied for its potential effects on blood pressure and cholesterol levels. What does the science say? Well, some research suggests it may lower blood pressure by relaxing blood vessels. It has also been shown to reduce bad cholesterol, or LDL, and triglycerides in animal studies. However, more human research is needed to confirm its effectiveness. The bottom line, there's some potential here, but don't rely on tribulus alone for heart health. A good diet, exercise, and proper medical care are still your best options. Fourth, can tribulus help with blood sugar control? Some early research suggests tribulus may help regulate blood sugar levels, especially in people with diabetes. What does the science say? Well, a study in women with type 2 diabetes found that taking tribulus for three months significantly reduced blood sugar levels. Other studies show that it may improve insulin sensitivity. So there is promising research here, but it's not a replacement for proper diabetes management. If you have diabetes, talk to your healthcare provider before using tribulus.
Does tribulus have anti-inflammatory benefits? Tribulus contains antioxidants that may help fight inflammation, which is linked to conditions like arthritis and heart disease. Animal studies show tribulus may reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, but more human studies are needed to confirm these benefits. So, it may have anti-inflammatory effects, but other supplements like turmeric and omega-3s have much stronger evidence for reducing inflammation. Before you rush out to buy Tribulus, let's talk about possible side effects and risks. Side effects include digestive issues, stomach pain and cramps, sleep disturbances, hormonal effects, it may lower blood sugar so diabetics should be cautious, and drug interactions, especially if you're on blood pressure meds or diabetes meds. Who should avoid Tribulus? Well, pregnant or breastfeeding women, people with hormone-sensitive condition like prostate or breast cancer, and those on blood pressure or diabetes medications, without doctor approval, of course. Should you take Tribulus? Here's my final verdict. All right, so does Tribulus Terrestris live up to the hype? It does have these potential benefits. It may boost libido and sexual function, especially in men with low testosterone. It could support heart health and lower blood sugar. And it has some anti-inflammatory properties. But it likely won't significantly boost testosterone in healthy men. And it's unlikely to improve athletic performance or muscle growth. Tribulus is not a magic pill, but it may be useful for certain individuals especially those dealing with low libido, blood sugar issues, or mild blood pressure concerns. If you decide to try it, always consult your doctor first, especially if you take medications. I have placed a link to the Tribulus supplement I recommend in the description section of this video. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more science-backed health content. Do you take Tribulus? Have you noticed any benefits? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experience. Until next time, my name is Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be healthy.